Hello guys and welcome back to the SNES channel and welcome to the follow up of what, probably one of my most popular videos and that's RGB strips signed to music. So today I'm finally doing the tutorial on how to do this but before I start I have to tell you that in a couple of days I will be doing another video showing you how to sync a digital strip to the music which is actually easier and creates much cooler effects so if you didn't already got the strip and stuff you need for this project I'll suggest you to wait uh, for just a day or two uh, and then decide which one of these you would like to create. So this one is a little bit cheaper, it takes a little bit more time to create and it isn't as cool as the digital strip which is a little bit more expensive but it's easier to create, it takes like literally 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, here's kind of the main differences. Uh, anyways, without any further ado, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so this image here, this is schematic that I was using, so instead of fan up here, uh, that's where your um, strip pins are. So this here controls only the, let's say, red. Uh, so you need three of these contraptions in order to control RGBs, and you need three PVM uh, pins from the Arduino. Uh, you can also use the same ones that I used in my code because it's going to be easier for you to just upload the code and that's it. Uh, and well, now I'm going to show you it in real life uh, because it's maybe easier to understand. Okay, so this is the contraption that controls uh, one channel, so either red, green, or blue. So you need three of these. Uh, the parts used, you can see on the uh, schematics. So how we connect these? Well, it's simple. You connect plus on top here, so on this pin up here. You connect your uh, Arduino pin on this. You connect uh, minus on this pin here. And then you connect your strip on this uh, joint here up on this port here and that's pretty much it so the next step was to wire up the microphone and this step is actually really simple so you just connect plus to 5 volt ground to ground and then you're going to use uh, the uh, analog output so you're going to connect it to the AO or A1 or whatever you want uh, and then the digital one you just don't connect that at all so you just need plus minus and analog output on your microphone Okay, now onto the code. So the first two rows, I have ignored them. They're not in the description. I don't know what they are. A third row, we have a couple of values. Uh, RGBs are the ones that we're going to map. And then these with S are the ones that we're going to change and fade over time. In the fourth row, we have uh, pins. So red pin is 3, green pin is 6, and blue pin is 5. Feel free to change this however you want. Also, if you uh, wired up Arduino differently, you can change it here. So in setup, we have the pin mode... Um, for the analog zero to input. So this is where my microphone is connected. Uh, and I have just serial begin so I can write out some stuff. Okay, so in the loop, um, first of all, I'm take the value from the microphone. So this is the uh, sound intensity at certain point. Uh, the, that value is going from zero to a thousand. I need uh, from zero to 255, so I remapped it. And then I've done some testings and I realized that the best values are from zero to 150. So I round those to 25 and 255. The reason why it's 25 is because from 0 to 25, the, uh, the intensity of LEDs are pretty much not changing, uh, probably because of the, the way I'm using the PVM. And then um, I decide which color I'm going to turn on based on the intensity. So we can see if it's under 60, I take uh, blue. If it's uh, under 140, uh, I'm taking green. And if it's uh, over 140, I'm taking red. Uh, and then after I apply colors, I have a short delay and then I'm fading away the color. So the colors fade away differently. So you can see that the red fades away in the, like in the middle, uh, green like the quickest and blue uh, twice as slow as the green, let's say. So um, that's pretty much it. The code is pretty simple. And uh, if you want to create one, you don't know, feel free to do it. So the way you're turning on the LEDs, it's simple. You just do analog right, and in the brackets you have a pin for that color, and you have the value from zero to two fifty five. Okay, and that will wrap it up for this video. If you did everything correctly, you should get a result like this. It looks pretty cool, and it's quite cheap actually. In case you have any other questions, feel free to ask uh, down below, and I'll be really happy to reply. And see you in the next one. Bye. I'll be right